travel back in time, what would you change? There's infinite possibilities to this very question. You could stop an assassination, prevent a war, even improve society. Why did this concept of turning back time become so immensely popular? It's because of our inability to recognize past mistakes until it's ultimately too late. With the current way things are going, society is bound to keep making mistakes. It's quite a big cycle, to say the least. While we stuck looking back at history and lament at what went wrong, when we can look to history and work into solving these issues that plague us. It all ties to history. For many of you, history does not hold a very special place in your lives. You probably saw it as a born subject in school and not much else. But I hold a very different relationship with the subject. Since I was a very small kid, yes, as me as a kid, I've been extremely passionate about history. I can distinctly remember my mom and dad teaching me about history since I was just a small child, about things like the ancient Greeks and Romans. As I grew older, I began to realize history is real important to the world. I began looking at my country, Nicaragua. Why is my country so poor and so poverty ridden, but at the same time have all of these resources? This is where I realized history's true meaning and importance. History gives us the key to break cycles and create new systems. Where society fails is not a conscience. Now, when looking towards the future, one must also look at the past. Sounds contradictory, but hear me out. When the U.S. Civil War ended, the politicians of the recently reunited U.S. came together and looked at the nation's history to prevent a conflict like that from ever occurring again. The reason why empires fall and new ones rise in the rashes is because of lack of retrospect. It's not hardwired into us to question why things occur or to question why things are as such. This means we're reactionary. We're built to react to situations. This lack of analysis is a proverbial nail in the coffin of societies. Just as Albert Einstein once said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, but in the end, expecting different results. To introduce fresh air into a stagnant and even dead system is quite a difficult task to say the least. This has become a real issue in our society. If you're a student, you fail a test if you don't learn from your mistakes. But if you're an empire, well, you're fault for revolution, which will probably repeat this cycle loudly. So now, going back to my country, Nicaragua, why does this cycle keep being perpetuated? It's because of this lack of retrospect. Throughout the past, the leadership have guaranteed power for themselves. You want to know how? They've made sure corruption thrives in this country. And they've removed the access to real history. They've rewritten history books in order to prevent the people from seeing what true history is. And they, they've kept the masses ignorant by doing this. The key to solving this issue is education. Proper education grants the people the ability to look at history and to forge a better tomorrow. Now, the reason why I'm so invested in this topic is because of how it has affected my family. Apart from my mom and dad, the person who has taught me the most about history is my grandmother. Her main lesson she has taught me is that we need to learn from history's mistakes in order to move forward. My mother has gone, my grandmother has gone through a lot over these past decades. During the Somoza regime, my grandfather was jailed in countless times. During, during the revolution, she lost a son. And during the 80s, they lost their family farm, in which my mother and her brothers grew up in. The main lesson my grandmother taught me has resonated with me, which is that we need to, to educate the people. We need to know our real history and how we can learn from now, a bit more of an extreme similarity. 
Let's look at a nation called the uh, Democratic People's Republic of Korea, or North Korea for short. In essence, during the 50s, Korea was embroiled in a civil war in which came out the North and the South. The Communist Party, most of prominence in North Korea, and cemented themselves in, in politics. They rewrote history books and kept the masses poor so they won't realize the true intentions of their government. They rewrote history books to make themselves look good and not complicit in war crimes. And in the end, created this specific type of dynasty and regime. By keeping the populace ignorant, they completely removed the option of looking at true history and to learn from it and move forward. Now, let's move, let's remove ourselves from current events and let's look at a hypothetical situation. You, you see if it seems familiar. Let's look at a government which comes to power through a revolutionary process. Then, it keeps the masses ignorant by rewriting history books and they set up this fanaticism in which the low income population basically worships the government. And the, that population that is fanaticized, they are bought out by giving basic resources like safe and basic food supplies. And they punish, this government punishes everyone who speaks out in the end. If the population ends up rising up, they will repeat this cycle of collapse. Does this sound familiar? I'm not referencing any particular nation. I'm just pointing out what happens in this cycle keeps being repeated. It's not customary to learn from one's mistakes. It just isn't. It's not built into us. However, it's a trait that we as a society have to acquire in order to hold it. Just like in Nicaragua, that if this option of looking at history is removed, and if we're not able to learn from history's mistakes, then we won't be able to look to the future and make ourselves now, every day, I think about what's happening in this country. It's just this. Now, one needs to remove themselves from biases and partiality in politics, but there's also a dire need to look at straight facts. In the past, there's been a rampant problem of violation of human rights in this country, such as freedom of speech and freedom of expression. And these violations have done a massive disservice to society as a whole. You may be wondering, who am I to tell you this? Since when am I the authority on global politics, or history, or education? I'm not an expert. I'm not a professional. However, what I see my country and community going through makes me qualified to tell you about this. What I am telling you is what I see and live and breathe every single day. And things my family and others around me have suffered from. Learning from mistakes is hard, harder than most of us. However, it's a boundary that we as a society have to break in order to move forward. We shouldn't dwell on the should have, would have, could have, or would have history. When we look back at history, we should feel proud of our decisions and not lament what went wrong. We should feel pride in what we did as a society. Mistakes are vital to growth. However, learning from them is what really makes a difference.